what we're actually going to focus on today is going to be the um, lateral and anterior spinal thalamic tract, which goes right there. So now this is kind of split in the middle. So here is the lateral spinal thalamic. Here is the anterior spinal thalamic. And here in the middle is the uh, spinal tectal. Now what does the lateral spinal thalamic do? This is pain and temperature. Um, anterior spinal thalamic is going to be crude touch. And the spinal tectal is going to be the um, visual reflex. So this is, these are the three that we're going to be focusing on right now. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first one that we're going to look at is going to be the pain and touch. So let me just go ahead and draw the uh, spinal cord here. So here we have that, and then you're going to have So, um, what are the fibers that activate pain? Well, they're going to be free nerve endings. Um, these are going to activate pain. Um, there's a few substances which are known for activating pain, primarily serotonin, histamine, bradykinin, and uh, lactic acid, and even potassium. So these are the substances which activate pain, and prostaglandin and substance P. Um, can actually increase the threshold, but it cannot cause pain itself. So um, we have two fibers which can uh, cause because cause pain. We have the um, fast, which is uh, a delta fibers, and we have the slow C fibers. Fast is going to be like the pinpoint pain, and the slow C is going to be more like the dull everyday, you know, long term pain that you feel. And the colors we use for um, pain is going to be green, so we're going to mark that with green. So what happens is the, the, the fiber is going to come here, and the dorsal root ganglia is going to synapse. Not synapse, sorry, it's going to have this in the VI. Then it's going to go straight into here, and you're going to have some descending fibers go down, and some ascending fibers go up. And um, this is called the tract of the sore. So you get as it goes down and up, and then one of the one of the uh, axons will continue on that level, and it's going to synapse. So there, there's your first order neuron actually synapses on the level at this at the spinal level. Then, as we showed earlier, um, we have the uh, lateral spinal thalamic tract equal as will cross and then um, yeah and then it goes and then it continues upwards so it's, it actually cro crosses at the spinal level um, now if you draw another so we kind of show this as a continuous spinal cord if we draw another level of spine Here's your there. Okay, and here we have here we have these lateral bundle on the tract going up here, and you get some type of fiber which goes here. It's going to synapse here, and it's going to send some down this way and up that way. It's going to go across. So this is going to go towards the outside. And this is going to go towards the inside, so it's going to be um, so it's going to be uh, for the uh, lateral spinal thalamic. It's going to be added medial uh, as it goes up, and then of course it's going to go up. Uh, it's going to go up into the medulla oblongata. So. 
let's draw the two pyramids here. So let's put the two pyramids and then we have the Oliver and Igneous and then back like that. So these are the two pyramids. Here's our Oliver and Igneous. Here we have the um, peduncles. And here's your little peduncles. And then just for uh, this is our oh, it's not coming. So this is uh, we have that, that the center and then this is gonna pull that up and, and this is gonna be the uh, nucleus gracilis and the nucleus cuneatus and just for this is what's crossing and it's forming that that medial meniscus here. So um it's going to go up uh, the lateral spinal thalamic is going to continue to go up um, all these fibers are going to continue to go up that way so let's just pause right there and we'll just continue on to crude touch um, so okay. crude touch which we can do uh, purple so we, if you have crude touch um, again, we have the same situation. You're going to get some fibers going up and some fibers going down. And then some sit synapsy. Oh, by the way, this area um, has a specific name. This is going to be the uh, substantia gelatinosa. That's where the um, synapses occur. So then it's going to go across again. And, and the anterior uh, nucleus, the anterior uh, the spinal thalamic tract, and then it's going to go up to the other one. Here we go. And then when you have other ones coming again, you're going to go up, ascending or descending, substantial junctions, and then they're going to be added immediately as well. Now, here, let's draw this in black. And this is going to be the spinal lumniscus. And what's going to happen is these fibers are going to go in and combine with the fibers of the lateral spine. So the lateral spine thalamic. So you're going to get the anterior spinal thalamic. You're going to get the lateral spinal thalamic as well. Now, there's also going to be a spinal tectal tract as well, which is found in. So, we're going to do that fast. So, this is the spinal tectal. And, um,. It's going to go straight up in between those two tracks and it's going to actually join with the spinal um, spinal lumniscus as well. So this is going to be uh, made up of three and you can see it's right lateral to the medial lumniscus and above the uh, olivary nucleus and again medial to the uh, inferior cerebral peduncle, cerebral peduncle. Um, it's going to continue on straight so this is at the level of the uh, medulla. Now we have to level the pawns. All of these three fibers so all these three fibers will continue. So you're gonna have your lateral spinal thalamic tract going up, you're gonna have your um, anterior you know, spinal thalamic tract going up, and your um, spinal tectic spinal tectal tract going up all in within the spinal lumniscus and that's going to go up into the uh, midbrain so here's the midbrain now here is your um, medial lumniscus 
and you have now the, the middle one here is going to be the um, spinal meniscus, it's part of the tegmentum. And also, um, in the back here, this is a superior colliculus. which is responsible for um, movement of the eye with your, with your so the um, spinal tegmentum is going to go here and then it's going to go into the superior colliculus in the midbrain so it's going to stop there pretty much and it's not going to continue any longer um, and um, however the lateral and anterior spinal thalamic tract will continue on further. Um, it's going to continue on uh, and go on to the uh, thalamus, which we can draw here. So this is the thalamus, and here's our third ventricle, lateral ventricles. Uh, and the thalamus, of course, is broken up like that, so it's the anterior, medial, and uh, lateral. And then within the um, lateral tract, there's and, and well, ventral anterior, the ventral intermediate, and ventral posterior. The ventral posterior is broken up into two: ventral medial, you know, ventral posterior lateral. Um, the fibers of both the anterior and the lateral spinal thalamic will go into the ventral posterior lateral tract, lateral uh, part of the thalamus. And um, also the anterior is going to go here as well. So you, your pain and touch goes there, and also your crude touch. Now, um, if I can just draw the uh, hemispheres real quick. And there you go. There you go. So I can just go up here like that, okay? Um, now, <coughs> from here, I want to get it to draw. Is the, uh, here is the internal capsule. And so, both will be going out to the core meridiana, which is going to go out to the postcentral gyrus, both of them. Um, the anterior, again, dealing with crew touch. And um, the posterior, the lateral, sorry, dealing with pain and uh, dealing with pain and temperature. So, um, but the uh, crude touch, so the pain and temperature can all, will also go to two other areas. The first is going to be the singular gyrus, and the other is going to be the uh, insula. So you're going to have some fibers going off that way. Oops. Yeah, sorry. So you're going to have some fibers going this way and fibers going that way. Insulin is primarily going to be doing the uh, autonomic response, and the, this is going to be more for the uh, emotional response. Um, now, also, um, the slow pain fibers also will go into the reticular formation as well. So they, they're going to be sending off, uh, you know, all the way into the reticular formation. This is going to keep uh, people awake, you know, when, when they're in pain. So uh, that as well. And I think that's all.